Heart Sprinkle. Hello everyone, it's Crystal and today I am painting on wood cutouts. This one's a ghost and I was thinking about drawing a bunch of daisies on it. At first I was going to have them all facing forward but I decided to try and draw them in different directions which I'm really happy with how the sketch was turning out. I want the flowers to be white and last minute I also decided to add mushrooms so I was thinking about red mushrooms from Super Mario. So it was going to be white and red. Now, I don't really pick red. I don't know why I thought it'd be a good idea. <laughs> um, and I think that's why I wasn't happy with this piece because of the color combo. Now, I was thinking about doing the pink streaks in the flowers, but I ended up making solid color like pink flowers instead. It just kind of was irritating, but I just kept going to try and just go with the flow, right? So I'm trying to train myself to kind of relax a little bit when I'm uh, doing line work and not stress about it. So this is why I wanted to try this new technique here where I'm just kind of doodling and just going with the flow of the artwork. <laughs> um, but actually, to be honest, it stressed me out more <laughs> because the like the randomness, I just I just felt like because I didn't know where I was going with it that I was overthinking the lines instead. So I don't know. I'm going to try the technique on another project and see, because I do like how some of the flowers turned out. And since it's a new technique, like I think that's why I was stressing about it. So I need to kind of try it multiple times before I just stop doing, you know, this type of work. So I decided last minute to add a little bling on there with this metallic paint pen, but it was not showing very well, so I had to go back and do some actual acrylic paint drops with a brush on there. But this is how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this style in the comments down below. This next piece is a pumpkin, and right away I thought about a whole bunch of candy and I think it's because my first memory of a pumpkin was when I first came into the states and my parents took me trick-or-treating for the first time they gave me this jack-o'-lantern bucket I didn't know what it was at the time and I remember at the end of the night that thing was full of candy and ever since then every time I see a pumpkin that's what I actually think of so I just went with the flow and decided to do a doodle of a bunch of candy on here here I am trying to plan out where the colors should go. I'm trying to balance out the piece, right? So instead of being a good artist and kind of planning where, you know, my colors will be on this piece, um, I'm struggling <laughs> and doing it the hard way and just blobbing the colors on there to make sure it's all balanced. But I I stopped planning, to be honest, for my pieces. Like I'll think of a theme if I can, on that piece ahead of time but as far as like layout and everything I don't I don't really do that anymore not with um, hand-painted pieces digital is different because you can change it around but with this um, it's kind of harder for me to pre-plan the layout so anyway I ended up doing this doodle and I am trying a new technique with the line art and I really love how it turned out I actually tested out on the heart there, um, the yellow heart in the middle. And yeah, I really like how it looks and I hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments down below when you see it, what you think of this style because it just looks so nice. Um, it's funny because it's supposed to be like more perfect, right? Compared to the flower one I did previously. And I was, happier doing it this way instead of like trying to be relaxed and doodle randomly <laughs> so I don't think that's my style <laughs> in the background there I decided to add the little speckles of like nerds and the suit sprite star candy um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to line art it but I actually did and I'm happy I made that decision because they pop out of the background a little better so here's the technique that I wanted to try out which is like hash for certain shading I guess and kind of just giving it some sort of dimension but I like the line like the same line instead of doing like a variety of thickness 
I really like how it turned out with um, the same width. And then here I am just adding some juicy highlights, which I kind of went crazy on because I ac actually added it to the background as well. But I changed those to gold uh, little speckles off camera because it was just so overpowering. But I really love how everything turned out. This is how it looks with the... Um, with the gold speckles in the back. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this because I'm just super happy. This one is my favorite piece out of all the ones I did in this video. This next piece is a cat and I decided to doodle a bunch of cats on there. When I first did it, they were too big. So yeah, I had to redo it all. But it's good that I did it because I ended up adding some famous cats on here. Now. Let me know in the comments down below if you can name all the cats that I added on here, the famous cats. Um, I was going to say point them out, but I actually had to do them first before I could plan out the colors of the cats in the background to kind of balance out the colors. So yeah, you kind of see or have an idea where they're at, but let me know if I executed them properly for you to identify that they are that famous cat because I wanted to keep it in my style still but also just just kind of make them in the themes of you know certain certain famous cats there <laughs> um yeah I don't have a prize or anything I just really want to know if I did a good job you know executing each cat design last minute after making like the solid colors of the background cats which took forever by the way um i decided to make my life harder <laughs> and add some patterns to those background cats just to make them look a little cuter and then i just did the same line work that i've been kind of enjoying doing with you know simple lines and last minute, I actually, I, I've been watching too much Bob's Burger and <laughs> I decided to make the eyes like wonky where one eye is smaller than the other. And of course, I have to add the juicy highlights on the little eyes. And here is some last minute, you know, detail work, uh, some facial expressions, trying to decide whose whiskers are going to go over the other cat's face. I tried to make some of the cats look like they are sad because the other cat is like taking over and blocking their face. But yeah, I really enjoyed this piece. I am a cat person. I wish we could have cats, but yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, spread them all over my artwork and just enjoy cats that way. <laughs> Here's what the cat piece looks like. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And here is a quick close up of all the little cats in there. I think they look so cute all bundled up together like this with the famous cats. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below out of the three, which one is your favorite piece? I really appreciate you guys watching my video. Thanks for checking it out and I'll see you guys next week.